Good afternoon and welcome to Limpopo. We're here in Zanin on a belting warm afternoon in this part of the world for the big derby, the FNB classic clash between the hosts, Hoerskool Ben Forster, up against their traditional rivals, Hoerskool Petersburg. A good crowd is coming as you'd expect for an FNB classic clash. Plenty of sport played at the school today against many teams and it's uh, been a wonderful festival of sport here in Zanin. As I said, a pretty warm afternoon. Good conditions for rugby, firm underfoot. Hardly a breath of wind and opening proceedings with me this afternoon. It's a very good afternoon to former Italian international, Vim Fisser. Good day, Vim. Great pleasure to be here. Awesome afternoon for rugby. Funny enough, Zanin derives from the Sutu word Zaneng, which means the place where people gather. And the people have definitely gathered here today to come and support this fantastic event, F&B Classic Clashes. Hoerskool Petersburg, coached by Reichard Kleingeld. Got two Craven Week players. He'll definitely be looking at these players to make the difference today. Funny enough, one of them will be coming off the bench. Arno Marie, he's coming, should be coming on at number 10. Coming back from an injury and their coach will definitely be looking for these players to make a difference and to prove themselves on this field today. Ben Foster, coached by Andre Hay, a star-sided side. They have 13 Craven Week players for this year. It's a fantastic side. They have a massive big front rower, Magu Mabukela, weighing at 119 kilograms. They also have Jinx Malapu, current SA Schools player from last year. As I said, we've had all the fun of the fair today. We've had the drum majorettes, we've had the food stalls, plenty on sale and a really festival atmosphere for this FNB Classic Clash. Here we see the two benches from both sides. Funny enough, Ben Foster, uh, Trevor Inyakani, who's an old boy, who's playing for the Cheetahs at the moment, and Hoer School, Petersburg, an old boy there is Victor Matfield, a fantastic ex-Springbok player for our country. Teams running out and you can hear the crowd going wild, pretty crazy about this game and they're supporting their team, running through their tunnel, getting together in a huddle in the middle of the field. You can see the urgency and the intensity in these boys' eyes. They really want to come out and prove themselves and do well for their school. Yaku Ratif, the captain for Petersburg World School, he'll definitely want to lead up front and make the difference for his side. His coach will be obviously hoping that his captain will lead from the front and set an example for his teammates. Ben Foster running out, led by the centre, Adrian Mabane. He's a current Craven Week player for this year. Also represented Craven Week last year. It's definitely going to be a very interesting clash between the two centre pairs of the side. Because there's Jinx Malapa on the one side, Mabane on the other side. And Anna van Staden, who's a Craven Week player for Petersburg at the moment. And Yaka Retief, their captain, who will be leading from the front. So it's going to be a fantastic clash between the midfields today. And a fantastic FNB clash at Clatt, it should prove to be throughout the afternoon. And these Ben Forster boys will certainly be favourites. As you said, Vim, 13 Craven Week representatives in their 15, and just two in the Petersburg side. And if we try and draw a line through performances through the season, they've both played help McCarr, and Petersburg were beaten quite heavily, whereas uh, Ben Forster edged them out. So yeah, on the form books, yeah, you'd expect Ben Forster to prevail. Well, Ben Forster definitely a star-studded lineup, as I said before, 13 Craven Week players. So it's going to be a, a pretty tall order for, for the visiting side, Petersburg. But you know what? The game is made of two halves, and definitely it's going to be an interesting clash. Well, 
Well, the Ben Forster first 15 have gone over to the schools in the stand and to sing the school song. Classic clashes. Look at these boys singing for their school. It's amazing. And it certainly heightens the tension in the day. Big crowd in. They've come a long way up. The oh, 71 from Petersburg made the trek to support their lads. Petersburg Horse School. And it, these traditional derbies mean so much to the communities to have the bragging rights for one more year. Stirring rendition of the Petersburg Hoor School school song and now the home side Hoor School Ben Forster. Split is apparent down the centre of the main stand. The red of Ben Forster away to the left, and the green and white of Petersburg away to the right. The attention now to the stand behind the post away to our right, where all the Ben Forster students have come together for their rendition of the school song. Sure. So all the preliminaries are concluded. The crowd has been anticipating this match throughout the day. All the talk amongst the pundits in the local area are that this side, Hurskor Ben Forster, are comfortable favourites. And it certainly shows in the selections of 13 to the Craven Week in their side and just two to Petersburg. But who knows, on a derby, a local derby, so often the form book can be turned over. And if we draw a line through the second 15s, Petersburg did just that. They prevailed over Ben Forster by 14 points to 8. Well, Brett, Petersburg, also known as Pities, their school motto is Per Aspera Ad Astra, which means reach for the stars. So hopefully they'll be reaching for the stars today with a good win. So, FNB Classic Clash, warm afternoon in Zanin. We're about to get underway. Petersburg fly half. Hardis Geldenace will put it on his right boot and get us started here in Zanin. <coughs> Shrill blast from Vili Kutsia. A little away from the forwards. And time to gather for Dagner! Theo Maria. The Ben Forster scrum off. They're going to keep it close. That's the big tight head, Michal Mabukela, to carry. They have Andra, such Andra, a, Andra, Andra, a big weight advantage in the forwards. Brevere. They're going to run from in their 22. That's quite bold play from Dagner! in the early part of the game instead of just looking for territory. They've controlled the ball though. Have Ben Forster. Use it! Then there's Eric Van Kirk, the number eight, and they'll just Under. rumble it on. All very slow progress. 22 is the top of your picture, so Maria sticks it onto his right boot. Kicking down the near side, touchdown. It's a nicely weighted kick and well gathered by Muller Kutsia. He goes on a run across field. The in cut is by Nick Enslin for Petersburg. Almost on the halfway line now. Untidy yeah, ball for Petersburg. It's just hacked through. And away come Ben Forster. 
an untidy beginning and now the consolidation from Michal Mabukela. He doesn't get much go forward, in fact yeah. he's driven across field, good defence from Petersburg, Maria. So Brevere will look to kick for position. Going back is Pitman Peterson gets a big ballooning bounce and immediately is smothered by Shapisa Mahasa and bundled into touch. That was a nicely weighted kick by Andres Brevere. A slow start from both sides, but a well-weighted kick and great pressure by the the left winger Mahasha putting some good pressure and line out for Ben Forster. Mometa to feed or oh, misunderstanding with the calls and it's gathered in by Jay Fasaki for Petersburg. The throw though a judge not straight so Petersburg will have the feed to scrum number one. What's really good there Brett is, is Petersburg is contesting at the line out there the number big number five lock for Saki getting in front of his jump and forcing pressure onto the Ben Forster team. Here's a battle that'll be well worth watching. As you said, a massive front row, 119 kilograms Aye. Michal Mabakela on the tight head side for Ben Forster. The feed is from Enslin and the front rows pop up. Well, it is going to be a massive contest at scrum time. Speaking to the coach, Andre Hay from Ben Forster, He's under the implication that it all starts up front, and I tend to agree with them. Good forward ball from the forwards, good good at scrum time and at line of time. Get your first phase, get over the advantage line, and that's what rugby's all about. Fine. Scrum. There's the feed of pressure in the front row, but they've held well of Petersburg. Away to Heldenace. It's a high ball onto Floyd and Tamani. He gets an ugly bounce. Chance for Petersburg here. The feed away to Mulekutsia, the looping ball inside, oh, onto from start and the hit straight away from Malapa, but still Kutsia involved, this is Vibiga, but he's bundled into touch. Well, that's two good crossfield kicks by the fly halves we've seen that have bounced down kindly for the cover defence. Good outside pass. But fantastic cover of the defence by Mabani, the captain from from Wurskul, Ben Forster. The line out's been won. Back to Brevere, keeps it low and the bounce in field. Could see he's shown a willingness to run already. Oh, he tried to get his hands around the tackle. Support was slow and coming. Enslin's knocked it on and it's his turnover ball. The skipper, Adrian Mabani, has claimed it on the ground and he has a chance away to the left. Brevere, Malap with a big centre, steps. And still going, the SA Schools man. Slow ball though for Ben Forster. Maria chips over the top, Mahasha running onto it. Who's going to win the race? Back goes Peterson, and he's carried it over. So, an attacking scrum now for Ben Forster, following that nicely weighted kick. That kicked well on to that Petersburg right wing, Pittman Peterson. He has a good scrum, a good base. Maria, away to Brevere. You'd expect Malapo to come and always lost it forward. You wouldn't expect an error like that for a player of his quality. So, turnover ball important for Petersburg. How nice. And they're offside of Ben Forster. Relief for Core School Petersburg. Well, well, well. Petersburg putting some great pressure at scrum time. And actually giving not such quality ball to the Ben Forster team. Unfortunately, Malapo, they're knocking the ball on. You wouldn't expect that from ASA Schools player and current Craven Week player. But I suppose we're all human and we do make mistakes. The right winger. Pitman Peterson gets good purchase down that far touch line. Here it is again. Good little dummy run, inside pass. Unfortunately, losing the ball in contact. Here come Petersburg. Crunching hit back into the forwards. 
consolidating possession. Enslin goes short side, using the forwards. Lister up the short side, kick downfield. On to Ndlovo. He's got a lot of space now. Sizes up his options and goes the direct route. Doesn't break the tackle from De Lange. Ball's held up. Ben Forster again. Brevere has a go himself. Made the tackle made by Johan Murray. Ball loose. Looking a little bit idealist, Ben Forster, with all the ball. But the big fella, Malapo, is going to get involved again. But they'll come back for the earlier error. And they'll scrum again. Certainly not the dominance when we'd uh, been told to expect from this Ben Forster outfit. No, definitely not. These initial phases, it almost seems that both sides are filling, them, filling each other out. But I'm very impressed with Petersburg at the moment. They, they're throwing in everything at tackles. They're throwing everything at scrum time. Let's look what happens at the scrum. <laughs> lifted their performance. Oh, and lifted in the front row as well. So the penalty goes the way of the home side. Is it out of range for a kick at goal? Theo Maria, scrum half, has decided he'll look for the setting up of the line out down that far touch line. Oh, that's an excellent touch finder. Fantastic. Penalty taken there by Theo Maria. Great lineup position. Interesting to see what they'll do, either off the top ball or set up a driving more. Well, shorten line out, and off your screen, the big prop forwards are sitting outside, right outside the right wing, but they've messed up the line out again in an attacking position and a good carry by Murray for Petersburg up to the 22. Knock on on the line out. That's twice they've been on attack in, uh, in that corner and made an error at line out time. Well, hats off to Petersburg. They're contesting everything, and that means it puts pressure on the opposition hooker, it puts pressure on the jumper. And that's why, at the moment, Ben Forster are suffering a bit that line out time. You have to take your hats off to, to Petersburg team at the moment. So there was a penalty from the last scrum. Out. Petersburg. Mind. Lou said Jacques Come. Lister was penalised. They have the scrum. Holes firm. Enslin. Pressure on fly half hard as Golden Ace, but he manages to slap his cricket away. A bit his kick away. Just starting to exert the territorial advantage now, Ben Forster. It must have been a fingertip touch because there's a line out to Petersburg. One against the throw again. Here goes Maria. Ten meters out. But he's lost it. Pressure on Petersburg still remains, though. Can Ben forced to turn it over? Slow ball. Just the forwards protecting it. Almost bridging. How can they come away from this? They've been pegged back in their own 22 for some time. Peterson. Will he find touch? Yes, he does. Gets a good bounce in front of the nose of Chapisa Mahasha. Much needed for Petersburg. Still pegged deep in Petersburg territory. Mitch Mamecha. Can they win a clean line out, Ben Forster? No, they can't. They're contesting again. It does go through the hands, but it's claimed by Marshall. The number six flank, and here's Maria again. Away to Brevere. Stepping is Jinx Malapo. Looking for support. Didn't find the runner. <laughs> the ball is untidy once again. Lack of continuity. Could have been turned over by Petersburg. It has. That's excellent work. Benson will kick over the top. Has he gone too far? No, he hasn't. Back goes in Lobo. The pressure from Muller-Kutzia and Steinberg. Oh, that's beautifully done by Leroy and Lobo. Steinberg makes the tackle, so Ben forced under a bit of pressure for the first time in some while. Consolidation. Keeping it amongst the forwards and going the short side. 
Prevere. The skipper, Mabani, breaks the tackle easily. Good strong run down the far side. Just uh, ran out of a bit of room. Perhaps Mahasha could have gone inside him to do the switch. Petersburg, a very good counter ruck, and they've turned it over. Almost lost it. That's really good work by the visitors. Eventually bundled into touch, but an excellent run by the skipper, Adrian Mayabani. <coughs> well, great cover defence there. Jacques Lister, the loose head prop from Pitties, really doing well. They're setting up a counter ruck, and Pitties eventually stealing that ball. Very well done there. Again, the line out so it doesn't find its intended jumper, and again it's Martlo at the back who is the recipient. Some clean ball for Ben Forster. Prevere decides to hoist. It's an awkward one. Who wants it? Nobody wants it. So Steinberg makes a mess of it and he gets enveloped by Jinx Malapa. Oh, the ball fortunately goes loose his head downfield. Now a chance for Chapisa Mahasha to run. Down that far touchline. Enslin with good cover and immediately puts it onto his left boot. Find some space, find some time. Ben Forster will come again. And Lovell, lovely step and handoff. Eventually surrounded by Petersburg defenders. This time Ben Forster there in more number. Prevere with not many options other than to kick. Peters has read it well. Oh, he allows it to bounce and got one that he wanted. And has time to put it on his right boot. Thump it down the far touchline. Mahasha has knocked it on. Peterson toes it ahead. Unluckily for him, though, it went straight to Thea Maria. So no advantage to Petersburg. They'll come back for the knock. <coughs> good little, good little run here by the left winger, Mahasha. Doing well, putting a little chip in, showing some good footwork, good side steps. Very elusive player. So Petersburg inside Ben Forster territory for the first time in some while for a set piece. Really important that they get a good stable scrum in the situation. And they do. Enslin, Maria was around very quickly and has just got a hand on it. So advantage to Petersburg and they have it. Heldenace, the back line up very quickly. This is Van Staden on the crash, straightening. Oh, got his pass away, but didn't find a Petersburg hand. So no advantage. They'll come back for the knock by scrum off Thea Maria. Advantage to Petersburg. The ref calling a knock on there. What's really important is the new scrum cadence laws. Crouch, bind and scrum. Just makes it that's that much more safer for the front rowers to protect them from any serious injury to spinal cords and necks. Oh, you don't often see that uh, infraction, putting it in not straight. So quickly taken by Maria up to Madot Mabukela, the loose head. And immediately gaining easy yards. Maria, back to Brevet. Goes high again. It worked the last time. Steinberg didn't want it. Who wants it this time? That's well done by Enslin. Comes away to the near side. Could see her outside him. We've seen him show a good uh, toe. Chips it in field. How will it bounce for Brevet? Gets a good one. And he's away. Slips the first tackle and the second. Not before Fidiger brings him to ground on the 10. Better ball. See Good some up. space, does Maria. And lots of space. There's going to be a chase on here. Oh, will it go dead? Oh, it's judged to a nicety. That was Roy. It yes. goes out almost on the corner flag. <laughs> and it looks like Petersburg have got a little finger on that. So it's going to be a Ben Forster throw. But what a great kick by this man. Maria doing really well with these little box kicks. Obviously noticing that Miller could see the left winger from Petersburg was up involved in a previous attack. So just putting a fantastic weighted kick into that bottom corner. As you said, Brett, obviously Petty's got a, a finger to it. So it's an awesome opportunity for Ben Foster to set up a driving wall here. 
And contested at the line out again. Petersburg have won against the throw. Third time with Ben Forster on the attack. But Petersburg have pinched line out ball against the throw. They really have defended well. Enslin. Away to Feldenhuis. His kick won't find touch. It'll find the charging in Louisville. Straight up the middle of the field. Still going. Important tackle. Support from Fenica. Feldenhuis makes the, the hit. Five meters out, Ben Forster. Surely now they've got numbers away to the left. Here they go. They must get in for a score. Substitute in. That's all. The first score of the match. So what a, a joy to happen for a substitute come on the field in place of Chapisa Mahasha and virtually your first touch you get in for the score Ben Forster on the board well it all started from a bad kick from the Pitties Flahoff counter attacked by Lero and Lovo and then the the play evolved to the left fantastic skip past the big number 19 getting in for a well-deserved try in the corner. Surprise, Matabula, the, the try scorer. And the first score of the match for Ben Forster. They've held out so resolutely of Petersburg for some time, but eventually defence has breached. Well, he set up the try with a great run, Leroy and Lovo. And now to add extra two from the touchline. What a beautiful backdrop. No, pushed across the face. So five is all it is. But Ben Forster, the favourites for this uh, derby. And they've scored through Matabula. Great play to the left and Matabula but backing himself and diving over into that far left hand touchline. <coughs> Heldenace with a good hanging restart. Martlo comes away with it. And that's a good handoff. Now they've got some confidence, Ben Forster. It's I almost as if whilst Petersburg held out, they believed they were in the game and they still are, but they can't let uh, been forced to come back this easily. There's a good run by Floyd and Tamani. Honor van Staden makes the good cover. Great break here to the right, but Honor van Staden, the Craven League player, with a fantastic low cover tackle. Any boys out there watching this, take that to your books because that was a fantastic low tackle. More ball for. Ben Forster, Maivani releases the try scorer, Matabula, he's got speed, he's away, he's in again. Just like that, two tries to Ben Forster. And their possession and territorial dominance is starting to bear fruit. Well contested line out. Ben Foster playing out to the left. Great passes, good hands. And eventually surprise Matubela getting the ball on the left wing. He has got jet boots, hasn't he? I'm sure if you catch that guy, you get to make a wish at the end of the game. That's how fast he is. Well, he's come on as a substitute. And uh, from the minutes of being on, he's broken the deadlock and now added a cherry. And Ben Forster out by 12. Fantastic speed, backing himself, seeing that try line in front of him, putting his ears, ears back and going over for a fantastic score right under the sticks for his team. <coughs> right, they need a score to get back in at Petersburg. The kick taken in by Christopher Duro. Some more! After the juggle, they are playing much more confidently with much more self-belief now. The more rolls up inexorably as Ben Forster are controlling proceedings. Maria is shown... A good right boot. The a shrill blast for collapsing the, the collapsing of the mall and a penalty in the way of the home side. It's all going the way now of 
aside from Zanin, who has scored Ben Forster. Certainly after the first quarter of the match, it was anybody's game. Petersburg had really made a fist of it, but suddenly now two quick scores. A good driving more set up there from the kickoff for, for Ben Forster, and unfortunately getting pulled down by Pitties, and that's why the penalty was awarded. Mamecha, nicely claimed by Nico Bazodnot. But if there's been one phase of play that has let the home side down a touch, it's been the inability to cleanly win their own ball on the line-out. Have to agree with you, Brett. They haven't won clean line-out ball at the moment, and that's a real good phase of play where you can make difference on the opposition side. They need to get their line-outs right. Maybe they should start up throwing a, a ball at the front. I call it the banker ball, just to get their hookers' confidence up, their jumpers' confidence up, and there from there work it and vary it. Point. Scrum. Good scrum, Petersburg. Use it. Enslin wants support from his number eight. Little chip yeah. and looked to touch late on from Kolnes, but nicely waited and claimed by Van Staden, but his support has overrun him, so he's a little isolated <laughs> and could have been turned over. Yeah, see. A counter shove by Petersburg. It's become a bit of a mess now. Who's that? And it's come the way of Ben Forster. Mabukela comes away with it. The other Mabukela. Now Brevere puts it on his right boot. And they'll come back. Mr. Kutsia has seen a double infraction and will give the advantage the way of Ben Forster. Good break out to the left, a little chip, but the referee coming back to allow advantage for previous knock on before. So it will be Ben Foster ball. Very interesting scrum. Both the left hand side of the field open, and they've got a, the open side loaded. It'll be interesting to see what they do from the scrum. scrum. Well, the ball is oh, penalty goes that one yeah, such easy ball but still yeah, Petersburg being penalized and you would imagine Maria will look to set up the lineup as he'd done before yeah Brett that previous scrum Mabukela the big yeah, yeah, from Ben Foster you can see he's starting to gain a bit of dominance and physicality on his opposing number and there was a great tarted uh, side lean there and would have favored a fantastic opp opportunity to attack on the right well, he hasn't gone for the line-out. He feels this is within his compass. Theo Maria, who's had a very neat game, particularly kicking from the bottom, the base of a, a scrum or from the ruck. He's weighted his kicks really well. Now he's got a long-range kick from just outside the 10. Well, Brett, it's really interesting to see they use him for the long-range kicks and Lovo from the, the more finicky kicks. He's got the distance, but not the direction. <coughs> so full value you'd feel territorially they've held sway they've had the bulk of possession just the line out letting them down to a degree <laughs> Petersburg have really had to tackle and contest on the ground and they're being out muscled for the most part 12-0 Maria good hands and he will start again directs his runner and who else but Jinx Malapa he's a huge center he's got strength he's got pace and he's gonna go all the way what a try! <laughs> well, Brett, there we, he's using that weapon known as the handoff, showing his strength, backing himself, good leg drive. Going over for an unbelievable score in the corner, just proving why he's 2012 SA Schools player and also why he's also a current Craven Week player for this year. Fantastic score from the youngster. Yeah, 101 kilograms of centre. That's a big fella for school rugby. And the gap is starting to become alarming now for Petersburg. Third try. And it's all come quickly. It's all come in the last seven minutes. Three tries in quick succession. You have to feel for them at the moment. You can see their body language behind the, the posts there. Their heads are hanging down. 
they're not standing as a team at the moment maybe they should get together and just have a little squeeze there and otherwise it's going to be floodgates and Lovo hasn't succeeded but a very useful cushion already short of half time bam what a handoff if you come high you're going to get that hand in the face from this lad fantastic another handoff there showing great power great speed and bam what a try in the corner really backing himself <coughs> yeah once he built up the head of steam there was an air of inevitability about it a good restart from cold nice but again claimed by ben forster Bobo Kela is the carrier. Maria, Prevere, confidence now starting to run. Good hands from Endlovo. This is my Barney trying to hand off Retief. Eventually brings him to ground. That's good turnover for Petersburg. They have an advantage and a chance for them, perhaps from long range, to get some points. No, they take a quick one through Jacques de Langer. Oh, up left. towards the 22. They need to the ball. Enslin can't get a pass away. Fibinger carries it back to the forwards. Spun away to Van Staden. They're up very quickly off the Ben Forster backs. Back and behind the gain line, Petersburg had driven back right. and could be turned over. But this is Peterso who comes away with it. A touch isolated. Support not back arriving back. in a number. Still they have it though. A looping pass, an untidy one. Enslin tries to tidy it up. And Ben Forster at the penalty. Well, even without the ball in hand, they look a superior side. Their defence very alert, very quick. Up the defensive line, really good work from Ben Forster. Well, that's what's making the difference at the moment, Brett. Their back line, line speed and defence is, is really good. They're exceptional at the moment. They're catching pitties behind the advantage line, which means their forwards and the supporting players at ruck time have to run back and try and clean. And that's why the eventual penalty has come there. The big tight head prop, Mabo Kela doing really well, staying on his feet, and Petersburg getting caught for not releasing. In a side that is this dominant, it's hard to find a criticism, but this has been a phase where Mitch Mametja hasn't always found his jump up. Well, I've noticed they're doing a short line at the moment. They're obviously going to try and unleash some of their big forwards around the around their fly half. That's better. The looping throw. Here comes Mabukela. That's an interesting graphic. It's, they've given away a penalty holding on the ground. But seven visits to the 22. It's good work by Jean-Dre Fulion. <laughs> well, you have to talk about the commentator's curse. They are called it to the back line and the big tight head prop coming around on a wraparound around the back of the line out. Bit of relief through the boot of Pitman Peterson. Pretorius down from the front. Good work. Enslin. This is fibbing up. Runs straight into three Ben Forster men. The support comes to arrive, but they'll go back for the technical infringement. The extra man in the lineout. Numbers. Well, it's a free kick, so it's definitely an infringement for numbers at the lineout. Fibbinger will carry again. Runs into Bazar and Max Seveny. Enslin, Van Staden, it's virtually gone straight up. He will try and claim it himself, but it's gone off his fingertips. So Ben forced to have the advantage if they can't release here. Oh no, Van Staden is really having a go at his team. Well, Gardinon has put, a, put up a great up and under there. But bit too flat, bit too short, but unfortunately one of the Petersburg players finger-tipping it there and it will be a scrum in a very good position for Ben Foster. Huge centres, Malapu and Mayabani. Brevere didn't get a very good pass and has knocked it on. Now, the move was a, a planned training ground uh, exercise, but it was not very well executed. 
Well, Brett, definitely, that was definitely a starter move for the number eight to pick up and unleash eight, nine, 15 on the blind side. But unfortunately, it all started from the scrum. Their tight head prop didn't get a lean, didn't get a tight head lean. So it made it that much more Out. difficult for him. Nine. So for 20 minutes, Petersburg held firm against Ben Forster. And then three tries in quick succession. Claimed by Theo Maria. He comes away with it and places well. Mamecha with the pick and go. And he's through. Foyun makes a last minute graft to bring him down. So it'll be slow now again for Ben Forster. Maria digs away to Brevere. Maibani, the double try scorer, Atabula infield. Rivera can pick and go and will get in. Silky hands from Horskul Ben Forster out on the left and the fly half, Andres Rivera has got in for the score. From the ruck, Flav, great pass to the 13. The person that came on, Matubela, doing really well to flick that ball inside. And their fly half, the, um, sorry, Andres Brewer, going over fantastic score. He had a kind bounce though, but he did really well to pick it up and go score. Now, as they ran out of space on that left hand side, Matubela, who'd got in for two tries, inside to his skipper, my Barney, who just over the top blind pass and it found Rivera to get in for the score and gives Leroy and Lovo a chance to stretch the lead ever more not the best thump but adequate over it goes and Ben Forster out by 24 points to nil well Brady has had all three attempts from that side of the field and the third time proved to be lucky struck that really well blind pass in the inside there going over kind bounce and the fly half Andres Brewer scoring a fantastic try for his team how oh, nice everybody wants it now on the Ben Forster side when you lead four tries to nil with half time coming they just want to Stamp your authority on the game as Brevere thumps one downfield, goes off the fingertips of Muller Kutsia, who had a few opportunities to run early on. This time, he decides to put it on his right boot. Nicely claimed by the polished Indlovo. Away to Maria. He'll go across field. Peterson will allow it to bounce. He's got time on his side, but uh, very quickly, Matabela closes him down so the kick is not a very sound one here's and Lobo again loves to run off he goes looking for an inside pass Brevere it is who's there in support he's had a good game the fly he's had lots of good ball though, to utilize they'll go amongst the forwards now Mameta runs into Lister but lays it well Maria with a little chip over the top Peter Sa will have to kill it quickly oh he has a a lot of pressure, but fortunately, the ball just ran dead for him to fall on. Otherwise, more trouble it would have been for Petersburg. Been really impressed with Theo Maria in this first half. His game management has been superb. Passed the ball well, and he's always noticed when the Pitti's backline have been out of out of position with his great little finding uh, chip kicks. Held nice. The Petersburg runners are certainly not putting any pressure on and Lobo who has a drop at goal oh hits the post Steinberg will gather Hoot is gone and he will just thump it into the sanctuary of touch and end the first half that has been completely dominated in the end by who score Ben Forster the home side have outscored the visitors by four tries to nil and lead 24 points a little at the break but for 18 minutes Petersburg were right in it but since then the floodgates have really opened Matabula the substitute with two tries Malapa with a try of his own and then Andres Brevere getting in for a try making it a healthy scoreline for her school Ben Forster at the break they lead by 24 points to nil